What's up? Welcome to the channel. This is the home to Amos Taste. This is the Vinyl Casket, all one word. Instagram, Twitch, YouTube. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for much, much more. We are doing a casket review. We watched it finally. It's been a while, but I'm doing a review. On Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is the Disney Plus original series, mini series. It is six episodes, I believe. Um, it's premiered May 27th of 2022. So I am I'm late. I'm late on it. There's reasons though. I'm wearing my fanboy shirt. I'm ready to talk about it. Um me and my wife, my wife had never really d deep dived into Star Wars. So we've taken our time reacquainting her and getting her adjusted and trying to figure the best ways to dive into everything. So we finally got into Obi-Wan. We watched the series, six episodes, and I got to tell you, it was beautiful. Uh, I think uh, Ewan McGregor did a stellar job. Of reprising his role of Obi-Wan, uh, aging himself into the role between the end of episode three and the beginning of episode six. Uh, there's a long time between those, but we see Luke and Leia as kids here, uh, probably eight, eight to nine years old. Um, and the plot here is that. Obi-Wan finds out that Anakin is Darth Vader and Darth Vader introduces himself with the Inquisitors and kind of like furs his way through um, and they go at each other and it's really cool to see this be a battle knowing the tension that com that later comes behind comes between them in episode I said episode six in episode four uh, between episode four and three so this is like their battle the first battle as him fully being um not Anakin and it's it lays up this groundwork for something that we didn't realize going into it and it makes things make sense and it's really good um Hayden Christensen reprised his role of episode three Anakin as well as portraying Darth Vader here especially seeing where the helmet gets smashed through and you don't you hear his voice through the respirator and I personally thought that that was really emotional and really well thought out and a great delivery and I know a lot of people didn't like Hayden Christensen's performance in episodes two and three but I feel like that vocal delivery that he gave led into the way the original Darth Vader spoke and I think it makes sense now um and I like it now and I just really enjoyed this series all six episodes basically Leia gets kidnapped and who's got to go after him Obi-Wan Obi-Wan's busy on um uh, Tatooine uh, watching Luke, but he goes on this adventure, gets involved with a bunch of Inquisitors and Darth Vader, um, has basically given severed his connection really with the Force, and has had to like reconnect himself and rediscover why he did what he did, and that he didn't let himself down, he didn't let Anakin down, and that he has to be the best he can be in order to save these kids and to protect them from the dark side that's fully consumed Anakin. And it's a great plot. It's a great series. I hope we get a season two. Um, I really like that. I'm going into uh, Ahsoka next. Um, I really am pumped on this. And I think this is great. Obviously, I feel like all these series have kind of loopholes. Not loopholes, but like big gapping holes in like, why did this person, this person existed? Why didn't they contact with this person? This and that, you know what I'm saying? It kind of doesn't make sense, but it kind of does. Um, my biggest gripe here, and I'll just say it because technically speaking, I think this is well shot. I thought the graphics were great. I thought the CGI was great. Action was great. Coordination, delivery, acting, everything here. Phenomenal. M movie style. Amazing. I have one gripe, and that is there was no even cameo, no appearance of C-3PO or, or R2. And I don't know if there's something that I haven't watched or I've, I'm missing that 
keeps them occupied at this time before Leia acquires them going into episode four, New Hope. But as far as I know, C-3PO and R2, or at least C-3PO, should be with Leia or on that planet with uh, the people that are taking care of Leia. We should have eaten, just at least at the end, gotten like to see C-3PO and R2 in the background, anything. Because there's no reason why they wouldn't be. And they're in all nine movies. They are the only characters that are in all nine movies as basically main roles. But that, I guess that's my only gripe. So um, I'm going to give it a rating out of five. We're going to do a 4.6 and it's losing those four points because of the major disaster, which is no reference to uh, R2 or C-3PO. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to keep them up as the most featured characters in this series, which is Star Wars. And it, they, let, they let me down. Great show, though. Amazing show. Amazing plot. Amazing acting here. Definitely check it out if you haven't. I'm pretty sure you have. Probably the last person to ever review this. But thank you guys so much. Check out the channel. This is The Vile Casket, home to the lamest taste. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, all at The Vile Casket, one word, where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. And do me a massive favor. I need you to stay lame.